Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do the After Dark reading for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Um, I'm using a different Oracle deck today. I'm going to still do two Oracles, but I'm going to use this Oracle. I'm going to include this one. <clears throat> so, and this one. Usually I use, what is it called? Psychic. Usually I usually I use the psychic tarot, but today I'm gonna use this one, and it's called Ask Your Guides. And um, this one, Energy Oracle. So, I um, yeah, I gotta buy me some more tea lights too. So, I like to um, do my tea lights when I do my after dark reading, like my candles. So, I got to buy me some more tea light. So, tonight, is nothing, no candles lit. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Divine Feminine is to my left. To y'all watching, it's going to appear to y'all right. Divine Masculine is to my right. To y'all watching, it's going to appear to y'all left. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. We got intuition at the bottom of the deck. So that's a inner child intuition. So we're going to see. What's going on with Divine Feminine after dark? Um, where I'm at now, Eastern Standard Time. It's 1.30, I think. Yeah, I think it's like 1.30 in the morning. What's going on with Divine Feminine? After dark, Divine Feminine. What's going on with Divine Feminine? Leadership. That's say leadership and Holy Spirit. So, Divine Feminine. Um, you leading in some type of leadership position. You could be at work, working graveyard shift, depending on your time zone. You could be just getting off of work. But this could be concerning your career. This could be concerning you and your divine masculine. Um, you could be a, a parent, a mother, some type of leadership. This could be spiritually as well. Um, or you could be following some type of leadership. And this could very well be the, the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Leadership. Um, What's going on with divine masculine? Divine Masculine. Community. Community. And it says spiritual ancestors. So, your Divine Masculine. This could be of the 5D. Like his angels and ancestors. His community. His spiritual community. Or this can be um, of the 3D. Your Divine Masculine could be in contact with his spiritual advisor divine feminine this could be you because it let me know you leadership so you could be encouraging your divine masculine talking to him this could be his therapist this could be a pastor um community spiritual ancestors, but it says spiritual ancestors so this is i'm getting this is more the 5d like his spiritual his ancestors angels spirit guides things like that could be dealing with him or he's in contact with his spiritual ancestors this divine masculine could be awakened and involved very spiritual so he could be praying he could be calling upon his angels and ancestors and then we got self-control at the bottom of the deck it say higher self so self-control Higher fine energy, strength energy. Tell me more about leadership. What's going on with divine feminine with leadership? Oh shoot. Yeah, all tied up. All tied up. I'm getting two things from this card. Divine Feminine. You could be helping someone. 
if you in that leadership position, you could be help. This could be a person. This could be a family member, a friend. This could be your divine masculine. You could be helping someone who feels all tied up or this all tied up person could be like an enemy of yours and it's like you're leading people away from this individual like this person could have been coming up against you and it's like they get in a karma they all tied up so if this leadership is regarding you divine feminine you could be leading people away from this all tied up energy. Or this could be a person. Something like that going on. Because all tied up. Like this is like bondage. Deception, bondage. Things like that. As far as the 5D spirituality. Um, What's going on with Divine Masculine with Community? What's going on with Divine Masculine? Yeah, Angel of Strength. Yeah. Angel of Strength. Your Divine Masculine, he could be awakened or he's awakening. Um, This energy with this Divine Masculine. He could be praying. But I'm getting this angels around your Divine Masculine. Giving him some type of strength to probably comprehend. To probably initiate contact. With his angels and ancestors. This could be prayer. This could be um, meditation. This could be him just um, trusting, having faith. But he's getting this, um, some type of angelic assistance to some type of strength. And it could be the strength of understanding. Your divine masculine could um, be newly awakened just on his spiritual journey. Like awakened to his spiritual journey. So, now I'm about to put Kipper messages. Um, what's going on with Divine Feminine? What's the message for leadership for Divine Feminine? Mm, unexpected income. Um, Divine Feminine, this leadership can be the Holy Spirit. Um, and they're leading you to some unexpected income. It could be leading you away from this all tied up energy concerning your finances. Um, your angels and ancestors, um, divine feminine, could be on a 5D arranging and getting ready to manifest some type of income for you. Um, as well, if this is you in this leadership position, divine feminine, this could be some type of like your spiritual calling. And it's like you getting paid for it. Like a spiritual calling. Unexpected income. Because you're in a position of leadership. Um, You can get paid for your services. Yeah. Unexpected income. And it's unexpected. Because of your leadership position. And it could be of the spiritual realm. It could be. You could be a tarot reader. And um, you getting some unexpected income. And like this unexpected income helped you out of some type of financial rut. Like it came just in time. That's what I'm getting. That could be what's going on. What's going on all tied up with divine feminine energy? All tied up. Coughing. Yeah, coughing. Um, I got to see what's going on with that energy. All tied up. <clears throat> Is this like an enemy of Divine Feminine? All tied up? Is this like an enemy? Yeah. It could have been a lover. Um, This person. <clears throat> this person could be your Divine Masculine. Don't have to be. But I'm getting it could have been a lover. Um... Or a fake friend. Somebody that was smiling in your face but was really against you, Divine Feminine. Um, this person is all tied up. This person could have been trying to cause some type of ending for you. 
This person could have been trying to cause some type of ending for you. And they're all tied up. They can't cause you this ending. Um, or something could be ending for this person. I don't want to say they physically... This is physical death. I don't want to say that. Um, it can be, but I don't want to say that. <clears throat> <clears throat> but, Divine Feminine, I'm getting... The Holy Spirit is leading you away from this person. You're being led away from this person. Because either this is a lover. If this is not a lover, this could be a karmic lover. Or this is someone that was smiling in your face, but they didn't have good intentions for you. That's why we have leadership here, the Holy Spirit. You could have been in some type of... um. Trouble, danger, Divine Feminine, that you was unaware of. Let me see. This leadership. Is this Divine Feminine in this leadership position? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is this unexpected income good for Divine Feminine? Is this good for Divine Feminine? Because this person... Um, yeah, yeah, uh, this person right here could have been trying to, it, I'm going to get back to it, I'm going to get back to it, but I felt funny, I felt some type of way when this car flew out, so this is, <clears throat> this is like a, a enemy, divine feminine, this is somebody that didn't mean you no good, and they could have been smiling in your face. And all the while, they this person didn't, didn't mean you no good. So, let me get back on course. I just, I had to clarify this energy immediately. Because I was, mm, mm this person. This is a person. And I think this person is getting their karma. Whatever they was trying to end for you, they all tied up. They can't do it. And it could have been your leadership, your leadership position. And they could have been trying to stop your money. Yeah. Um. Yep. What's give me a Kipper message for divine masculine? This community, spiritual ancestors. Yeah, gift. Yeah, your divine masculine. Either he's newly awakened or he's awakened. He's already awakened. <clears throat> he got the gift, the gift of discernment. Um. This could be him getting revelations, downloads. Um, uh, your divine masculine could also be celebrating something. Um, this gift could also be life. He have a new, your divine masculine have a new life, and it could be he he's awakened to the spirituality. This gift could be life. Um. Or your divine masculine could be being instructed from the 5D, like nudged, to give you a gift, divine feminine. He could be being told to give you a gift. Or he can realize that you are a gift to him. What's going on? Give me a Kipper message for Divine Masculine with Angel of Strength. Yeah, main female. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, in this deck to me, this main female is the karmic. Um, And, you know, karmics with this main female, it's like she mean well. like, But they basic. They karmics. They're unawakened. So... It's like karmics, they mean well, but they're not awakened. So, she can be the main female all she want, but she mean well. That's why I want to say for this main female in this deck. The main male and the main female, they mean well, but they just don't know no better. So, your divine masculine is being restricted from this karmic. That's what's going on. Your divine masculine being restricted from this karmic. And this karmic, this could be the karmic right here. I'm going to see. 
Your divine masculine is being restricted from a karmic. <clears throat> it's like what I'm getting. Your divine masculine could be going with this karmic or married with this karmic, married to this karmic, but something happened and they're apart. So it's like your divine masculine is like spirit wanted to reveal something to your divine masculine. So he separated them tonight. They, they in separation and your divine masculine is getting downloaded. He's getting some type of revelation concerning his community, his um, spiritual ancestors. And I think they're telling him to give you this gift. Because the gift is going towards your energy, Divine Feminine. So it's like this on the board. It's like you and leadership energy. And it's like this is your Divine Masculine energy. So it's like his, your Divine Masculine spiritual ancestors. Is giving him downloads that he should give you this gift. And it's like you're going towards this gift. And the hands is going towards you. So you going up that ladder towards that gift. Yeah. Um. This person all tied up. Is this this uh, main female? Is this this main female? Yeah, mm-hmm, it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Divine Feminine, the karmic is in your energy, but I'm getting she's restricted. So, your Divine Masculine karmic is in your energy. She could be thinking about you. Um, She could be literally around you. Um... Your divine masculine, this gift could be this unexpected income. <clears throat> this gift could be this unexpected income. And whatever this gift is, I'm getting your divine masculine spiritual ancestors is telling him to give you this gift and not to give it to this karmic. Because it's like you're more deserving of this gift. Divine Feminine. And it could very well be some money. Um, And this karmic... She was... This karmic didn't want you to have, to have that. She... What I'm getting, Divine Feminine, she's probably aware of it. Because she's with your Divine Masculine. Whatever this gift is. She's aware of it, Divine Feminine. You probably not. Um, cause like the Bible say, the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. So that's what I'm getting. Like in this car, like you and the, the cars told me this is you, like you in some type of leadership position, divine feminine. So it's like you going up them that ladder. So it's like your steps are guided the steps of a good man. So it's like you going towards this gift. You're going towards this gift that's on your divine masculine energy so like i said the steps of a good man a good woman so it's like divine feminine it's like you about to run into this gift and you don't know about it but i'm getting this karmic know about it she didn't want you to have it yeah um but the main thing that's going on is Maybe it'll come out more in detail in the cards. Your divine masculine could be married to this karmic or he's with her. Like they have titles. But some way or another, the universe, your divine masculine, spiritual ancestors done split them up. So I don't know if they could have gotten into an argument or something. Somebody could have lost a cell phone. They can't get in contact with each other. Your divine masculine could be in, in jail so he can think things over. They're split up, but it's involuntarily. Um, but your divine masculine spiritual ancestors did this. Because they want him to give his gift to you. Yeah, and it could very well be some money. It could be some money. And this, this karmic know about it? She, This karmic know. 
your divine masculine is being restricted from this karmic. Because I'm getting, the cards is telling me, divine feminine, you are more deserving of this gift than this karmic. Because it's like you leadership. And this karmic is just the karmic. Um, give me some tarot on divine feminine with oh uh oh. Yeah, that yeah, that karmic that flew out on her. Four swords. Yeah, she restricted. I don't God. I don't like stuff like that. I don't care if it's a karmic or not. I'm picking up somebody passing away. It could be this karmic. Like, she could literally pass away. I don't know. The four swords is death. And this coffin came out. So, um... Mm. Anyway, uh... What's going on with Divine Feminine with leadership and unexpected income? Um, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. If something, either this karma pass away. If she do pass away, Divine Feminine, you... <laughs> you got the hell out of Dodge. You, mm -mm. you got the hell out... You got the hell out of Dodge. You got away from this karma. Whether you aware of it or not, you got away from this karma. Because she facing some type of karma. And she it could very well be like a physical death. So, yeah. Um, give me tarot with Divine Feminine with leadership and unexpected income. My camera looks kind of dark. The lighting. I should have fixed that. What's going on with Divine Feminine with leadership and unexpected income? Yeah, Two of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah. Um, Divine Feminine, you could be a Virgo or your Divine Masculine could be a Virgo. But the Two of Cups is here. Two of Cups. And the, that's a heart. And that's a heart. Two hearts. So. Yeah. So it's like. And then it's like connected together. So this is like a soulmate connection. This Two of Cups Divine Feminine could be letting me know. You being in this leadership position. This could be your calling. Because the Two of Cups is a soulmate connection. It don't have to be with a person. Your soulmate connection could be with your career. Your soulmate connection could be with your kids. You could have a soulmate in your kids. Or this could be your Divine Masculine. Two of Cups. A soulmate connection. A divine partnership. Um. But the Hermit. The Hermit. Divine Feminine, this could be letting me know you went within. You go within. You went within. You did the work. Um, You went within about this Two of Cups. This Two of Cups can be your leadership position. Your um, calling. Whether your leadership position and your calling is concerning spirituality or just regular career. Like your spiritual calling could be a nurse. Your spiritual calling can be a veterinarian. But something about your career, if it's not directly physical, I mean, if it's not directly spiritual, it's indirectly. It got a spiritual tone to it. And you did the work. You did the work. I'm getting Divine Feminine. This leadership position, you didn't just jump into this. This was something you fasted and prayed about probably didn't want to do you went within you found answers from within you was very cautious about this two of cups so this two of cups can be your leadership position it can be 
your career, your spiritual calling, or you and your divine masculine relationship. But this hermit, divine feminine, you could be a Virgo. This could be you. I'm getting you did the work. You put the work in. The hermit. Um, the hermit goes, the hermit will ghost you. The hermit will get away from the crowd so they can think. So they can get answers, but from within. The answers are within. So I'm getting from two of cups and hermit, divine feminine. It's like you're sure of yourself. You humble, but you sure yourself. Because you are, your confidence came from within. This is not something somebody told you. It came from within and from spirit. Yeah, hermit into a cup. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's why I'm getting from your divine masculine energy and the way they got that karmic restricted. You're more deserving of this gift that your divine masculine have. This gift could be money. This gift could be love. I'm getting this divine masculine tonight. He's awakened. And this gift can definitely be love. You're more deserving of your divine masculine love than this karmic. Because you did your work. You, 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 you know. Because it's like divine feminine. You're awakened. So it's like you deserve an, an awakened divine masculine. What's going on with um all tied up? Yeah. Oh God. Star in reverse. Yeah, this karmic. Whoo. Mm. Star in reverse is like somebody who has lost all hope. They lost their faith. They lost all hope. The star in reverse could also be somebody who um is under like some type of spiritual attack. The star reverse could also be letting me know that this karmic, whatever she was doing to come up against you, she's giving up. She gave up. She letting it go. Like, she done. Because it didn't work. And then spirit restricted her. So it's like the star reverse could be letting me know she's just going to leave you alone, basically. The star reverse. Because she all tied up. So she the star reverse. The star reverse could also be letting me know whatever type of <clears throat> influence this karmic had on your divine masculine in the past, she don't have that over him no more. So this could have been some spell work or, you know, it didn't have to be spell work. But whatever type of strong influence your, this karmic had over your divine masculine or had over you, divine feminine, she don't got that no more. She don't got that no more. She star reverse. This karmic can be an Aquarius. She don't have to be. And this karmic don't have to be a female. But yes, it is. Because main female. What's going on with Divine Masculine with community and gifts? Yeah, Six of Cups. Yep. Divine Feminine. I'm trying to think. Y'all Divine Masculine could be in jail. Because it's like he's reminiscing about you, Divine Feminine. So he's six cups, nostalgia. He's thinking about you. That's because his spiritual ancestors placed you on his mind. They got him away from that karmic. So he can think clearly. King of Swords. So he can think without this karmic interfering and poisoning the truth. That's what I want to say. This karmic... She was poisoning the truth. She was poisoning. She's poison. So your divine masculine nostalgia, he's thinking about you. What's going on with divine masculine with this angel of strength and main female? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, this karmic knight of pentacles. That's stagnation. The knight of pentacles is also an angel. Um, This karmic, you know what? This karmic 
could have been in the process of doing some spell work on you, Divine Feminine. That's why that angel restricted her. Because there's two angels there. So she could have been in the process of doing some type of spell work. Um, putting curses over your life. These curses could have been her just talking junk. Just saying stuff out her mouth about you to Divine Masculine. This Knight of Pentacles can also mean an angel. This Knight of Pentacles is also stagnation. So this karmic, whatever she was doing, whatever she was talking about is stagnant. That's because these angels on her. And it could be not a good angel neither. It's probably not a good one. <clears throat> it's probably not a good one that got a hold of that karmic. Because you two angels right here. And it's like, Mm. It's like they blocking her. They blocking her. She could have been. Yeah, it's right here. It's telling me she was trying to put do something to you. That's why she all tied up. She's been stopped. Because there's two angels here. And she could have been getting ready to do some spell work on you, Divine Feminine. And them angels stopped her. Yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. let me see community is this divine masculine in jail is this divine masculine in jail yeah 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 he in jail he could have ended up in jail tonight or he been in jail but these angels did that um, your divine masculine spiritual ancestors did that. It's like they pulled him from that karmic. They they had to separate them to get his attention so he can think about you. Because this karmic was like flooding him, love bombing him, gaslighting him. No, love bombing him. This karmic was love bombing him. So it's like he didn't have time to get himself together to know the truth. So he in jail. Yeah. So he's six cups. He's thinking about you while he locked up. He ain't thinking about that karmic. He in his right mind. This karmic, they could have been on doing drugs, drinking, and your divine masculine probably wasn't sober-minded. I'm getting drugs and spell work and just ignorance. So um, your divine masculine is in jail and he sober-minded. So he's able to think. He can think. They, them, these angels, your divine masculine and spiritual ancestors pulled them apart and got your divine masculine away from this karmic. So, oh, that's probably why she in your energy because your divine masculine in jail. Mm, okay, that's why. So it's like she was pulled from your divine masculine. And then she came over to your energy, Divine Feminine, and, and she started reverse now. And coughing and all tied up. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, at the dark hours. At the dark hours. That's what's going on tonight. I'm getting this Divine Masculine. He could have been an awakened divine masculine, but it's like when he do drugs, it's like he could turn into a totally different person. I'm not getting this divine masculine not awakened. He's awakened. So either he, I don't know how long he been in jail. So either he been in jail for a while and he could have got his awakening in jail. Or he been awakened, but it's just probably when he do drugs and stuff, he just get crazy. And he just needed to be sober-minded. Something like that. Yeah. So he can think straight. So, what's the tea with Divine Feminine with leadership and unexpected income? Yeah. Kissing ass. I don't think this is you, Divine Feminine. This could be that karmic... Mmm... <sighs> I don't know, Divine Feminine, this karmic, 
I don't know. I don't know. Or she could have been. Let me see. Let me see something. This gift. Is this unexpected income this gift? I think I asked that already. Is this unexpected income this gift on the Divine Master end? No. No. Um. I know this kiss and ass is probably that karmic. Divine Feminist, some way, somehow, this karmic was in your energy. I don't know if you know her or not. But she was in your energy. And she was kissing. I'm getting, this karmic was smiling in your face. But she ain't mean you no good. She was trying to, she was kissing ass. I don't know if she was trying to get money from you, Divine Feminine, to get the Divine Master out of jail. Knowingly or un or unknowingly. But it's like she was trying to kiss ass to probably take your unexpected income. Because this kiss of ass came out on the unexpected income. Um, What I want to say too. What could be going on. Divine feminine. Your divine. Okay. For example. I'm giving this example. Say like Divine Feminine, you got a co-worker, right? And she got somebody. Unbeknownst to you, your co-worker's person is your Divine Masculine. Something like that could be going on. So it's like, because I'm getting... Or either Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine could be sleeping with somebody that you know. Because I'm getting this karmic was in your face. She was in your face. Like smiling in your face. Being sweet and nice to you. So either it's, it's either one or the 